by the shoulder. Especially if he pulls, I just go with the fall and slap him on the way. Grab behind the neck, pull him in, and elbow to the face. And from here, push his head down and grab him into the teacher. grabs me uh, by the throat with both hands, I can grab from underneath and pull down like this to release. From here to get into a better position, I take my right hand, I hook his arm, I pull and push with the other hand, which forces him to turn around so I get behind the back. From here, I take my uh, arm, press the larynx, and with the other, other hand, I push on the Take him down, go for a tour. situation if I end up getting hit in the stomach and bend over it's easy for the opponent to go for a guillotine so it's important that I grab his wrist and pull so I can get space to breathe and from here I reach cross and if I can get a good hold here it's also, also good because now when I pull it creates space if I really need to I might have to bite slap the groin from here I can step through and now I use my leg to break his balance, which opens up for a strike. Threatening me, threatening me with a stick or something, so I need to parry, get to the outside, grab his wrist. I impact Joe, step in and wrap my arm around his arm. I can grab my own gi, or just if I don't have, have anything to grab, I just squeeze tight like this and get an elbow. If we have a wall close to us, I can force him against the wall. and try to strike immediately to, to his neck. From here, grab, kick, groin, midsection, or leg. From here, I sneak to the outside, step behind him and go for a take. Grab, I go with the flow and apply the uh, wrist lock, which breaks his balance and opens up for a strike.
going for in this technique is I need my four fingers as deep as possible here and I grab this other one. But I want it at the same time his head to be in my armpit. So it's kind of a real feature. And usually we end up getting it underneath his body. So he attacks, uh, attacking me. I sprawl so I don't get my legs. And here I open up and slide my four fingers as deep as possible. Grab the opposite lapel, and from here, I step up. Inside his arms, I can really control his wrist by grabbing, and then I use my leg to kick midsection on anything that makes him bend forward. I strike with my elbow upwards, and I can throw up with really. my fist to his face. I strike the groin, grab the arm, pull, and the impact. to the side so I quickly can see. Pushed, I redirect it, impact the neck from here, paint and then pivot, turn him around like this and go for a choke. I have this hand free so I can take control of this arm and here. So 